Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. So today I'm sharing my Mediterranean chicken pasta salad and it is so delicious. It's light and refreshing and it's really the perfect recipe if you're looking for an easy, healthy lunch meal prep option. So feel free to work this one into your weekly meal prep routine. It's packed with protein and of course, fresh nutrient dense foods. Now I'm keeping it gluten free today by using chickpea noodles. I like these because not only are they gluten free, but they're also higher in protein. You can also use cassava flour noodles. These are going to be paleo friendly, brown rice noodles, or even regular noodles. And the reason this is such a great meal prep recipe is because you can batch prep it and freeze it in individual containers and it'll last in the freezer for up to two months and as always you can print off today's recipe over on my blog I've also listed the calories and full macro count over there as well that link will be listed in the description box below but anyway let's head to the kitchen and get started okay let's get the chicken started first since it's gonna take the longest to cook you'll need 12 ounces of boneless skinless chicken breasts and I'm just lightly seasoning these with some sea salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Make sure you rub that all over the chicken. And you can bake the chicken, but I'm going to pressure cook it today to speed things up. So I'm adding the chicken to my pressure cooking pot along with some chicken broth. You can also use water, but just add enough to cover the bottom of the pot. And this is going to help to keep the chicken moist. All right, add the lid, set the valve to the sealed position, and then pressure cook it on high for about 10 to 12 minutes. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and start the pasta. Now, like I said earlier, I'm using the chickpea pasta. It's not only gluten-free, but it's also higher in protein compared to other pastas. But I also love these grain-free cassava flour noodles if I want to keep it paleo-friendly. So you're just going to cook the noodles according to the package instructions. I like adding salt to the water to really enhance the flavor. I'm going to boil these for about 10 to 12 minutes. And by the way, it's completely normal with the chickpea pasta for it to foam up a little bit while it's boiling. All right, while the chicken and noodles are cooking, let's chop everything up, starting with cherry tomatoes. You're gonna need one cup of these, and depending on how big they are, I'll either cut them into halves or into fourths. But tomatoes are a rich source of lycopene, which is a powerful antioxidant, and they're also a good source of vitamin C, vitamin A, and potassium. Next, you'll wanna chop up one cup of cucumbers, and I usually cut these into fourths as well. But cucumbers not only help to keep you hydrated because of their high water content, but they're also a good source of vitamin K, which can help to support your bone health. And they're also just a great food to add to your meals and snacks because they add that extra crunch and nutrition with very little calories. So for those of you who are trying to lose weight, cucumbers are great to always have on hand to add to any meal, salad, or snack. And you can't have a Mediterranean pasta salad without olives. I love olives. So I'm gonna do a mix here. I'm adding in 1 4 cup of green olives as well as 1 4 cup of Kalamata olives. And I'm just cutting them in half. But olives have so many health benefits, y'all. They're a great source of healthy fats. They also contain polyphenols, which may help to reduce oxidative stress in the brain. They have anti-inflammatory properties. They support your heart health. And they're just absolutely delicious. Okay, next up, I'm going to add some artichoke hearts. You'll need one cup of these, and I'm just roughly chopping these up. Now, if you don't like artichokes, you can substitute these with chickpeas. I'm also going to dice up a quarter cup of red onion. Now, of course, a traditional Mediterranean pasta salad calls for feta cheese, which you can totally use. Um, but today, I'm going to use this crumbled goat cheese because I just love goat milk cheese. It's so good to me. And I find that it's easier to digest. So anyway, you'll need half a cup's worth of the cheese. And lastly, I'm adding in some fresh parsley. So let's go ahead and finally dice that up. You'll need a quarter cup of the parsley. And fun fact about parsley, it can actually act as a natural breath freshener, especially after you've eaten garlic or onions. Going back to the pasta, once it's done, remove it from the stovetop, drain the liquid, and then rinse it with cool water. The main thing is just letting those noodles cool off. You don't wanna assemble the pasta salad until they've cooled off completely. And once the chicken's done, go ahead and remove it from the oven or the pressure cooker, let it cool off for a little bit, and then shred it with a fork. All right, now it's time to assemble the salad. In a large bowl, add in the noodles, along with the cherry tomatoes, shredded chicken, 
chopped cucumber, olives, the artichoke hearts, chopped red onion, feta cheese, and parsley. Let's toss that around a bit to mix everything up and it's already looking so delicious, but now we need to prep the dressing. So in a separate bowl, add in 1 fourth cup plus one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, three tablespoons of red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of raw honey, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and dried basil, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth teaspoon each of sea salt and pepper. And just whisk that up until everything's fully combined and then pour it over the pasta salad. And let's toss that again to make sure everything is fully coated with that delicious dressing. Y'all just look how fresh and colorful this pasta salad is. It is so delicious. You have to try this one and comment below to let me know how you like it. And at the last minute, I decided to add in some fresh arugula just to add a pop of color and some extra greens. You can also add in spinach or you can just completely leave it out altogether. All right, let's cover the bowl and then let it marinate in the fridge for at least an hour before serving it or transferring it to your meal prep containers. This is gonna ensure that all those ingredients are fully marinated with the dressing to maximize flavor. Once it's marinated for at least an hour, you can go ahead and transfer it to your individual meal prep containers. And this recipe makes six servings, so I just sorta of eyeball it and try to get an even amount in each container. And sometimes whenever I'm ready to serve it, I'll also add a few slices of avocado for some extra healthy fats. But this pasta salad will last in the fridge for up to five days and in the freezer for up to two months. And like I said, it's perfect to work into your healthy meal prep routine, especially for lunch because you can serve it cold, warm, or even at room temperature. It's so light and refreshing and it's full of delicious, healthy ingredients. And don't forget for the full macros, I've listed that over on the blog post, which is linked in the description box below. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. My Mediterranean chicken pasta salad. And like I said, this is a great recipe to work into your lunch meal prep routine. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to keep making more healthy meal prep videos like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Comment below if you give this recipe a try. Let me know your feedback and if you like it. If you give any of my recipes a try or any of my healthy meal preps, you can tag me over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. Of course, course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy this type of content, healthy meal preps, healthy recipes, lifestyle advice, all that good stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. But that's it for today. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!